<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh! Oh god. Oh boy, here we go, here we go. Too fat. Is it too fat? Too fat. Too fat. <laughs> Get on up. Ready up and action! Hi, I'm Trixie Mattel. Trixie Mattel. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm an old lady who wandered into the street with lots of bags. Oh, nope. And I'm a lightly seasoned broiled Cornish game head. Katya. <laughs> and welcome to Ooh. the show where we talk about whatever we want. Because it's our show. And not yours. Driving. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Let's go back to the or, the origin okay. story. Okay. You're 15, driver's ed. Never took it. <laughs> you can just not take it? Never, I didn't get my license until I was 18. I got mine at 16 and it took me four attempts. <laughs> Are you serious? I would do dumb things. I'd be nervous and go down a one way the wrong way. Stop it. Almost hit a pedestrian, which is too much. The theater of it was too much. It's nerve wracking. I was very Cher Horowitz, like what? I totally paused, you know? <laughs> But in LA, I never bought a car. I don't miss having a car. No. I'd rather run somewhere. <laughs> Let your body be your car. <laughs> when people look at my body, they think Prius. <laughs> it's, it's slightly, it's odd shaped. Yeah, it yeah. gets seat four. Yeah. <laughs> my first car was a 94 Dodge Intrepid in like an emerald green. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, hit a lot of deer. <laughs> And a lot of deer. Uh, in Northeast Wisconsin, deer are just running, deer deer love the road because it's an open clearing. And don't they try to like intentionally get hit for the insurance money? <laughs> the deer. I don't know, we've got a deer backstage. Let's ask, we've got a white-tailed deer <laughs> named Sandy. <laughs> Wait, did she just say my real name? Lyft and Uber has alleviated the, um, the swelling around the idea that you need a car in LA. No, Uber is so cheap and you can, you know, futz around and pull the pads in the back of the car and get your stuff done. Something about Ubers and taxi drivers love cross-dressers. Yeah, they you do. You look very beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I know. They'll take your hand and put it on there. Oh, I was in an Uber once going to do a podcast and he kept looking at me, he kept looking at me in the rear view. And at first I thought it was homophobia, but once you glance enough times, this is the reverse homophobia. This is cross-dresser, I like you. Did you? Oh, you would never. That Church of Satan time you just did was a lot. Yeah. And he reaches behind while he's driving and hand down the leg. Like, it was like a pantyhose commercial. It was like a hand splayed, like, doo -doo -doo. Ron play the music. Doo -doo 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 -doo. My legs would have just went. And while he was disgusting, I was a little bit turned on by the feeling of being desired. Desire, desire, desire. Yeah, you should have been like, show me your drag, I am more of a, he'll do, make and model. <laughs> You know, I I'm would, more of a rental. I would be fascinated to see how you would behave if you were ever to like do the do the thing in drag. Well, I think I would wear like a matte longwear lip color. Would you feminize your voice? How much further can I push it? <laughs> I think I would do like, okay, you be him and I'll be me. Hey there, I really want to salt your Pringles in the hat. <laughs> You know, like no words, just yeah. just. I always keep, you know, have these like manual little sound effect things where you can, you know, it's like a or like just have those to distract. I would have a bunch of women. I would have a talk boy. First, you need a talk boy, and then I would refer. I would get like um, yeah. Jennifer Aniston to yeah. do like, thank you for coming over or like whatever, <laughs> and then the guy would come over and I would have a. T I would have. Backlighting, so we can't see my face, but my silhouette is snatched. <laughs> and I would have a tape recorder and be like, "What do you want to do next?" It would be like the sexy version of those of uh, you know when people are interviewed in those Lifetime things and their silhouettes and their the voices modulate. You know what I'm oh, talking about? Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. Are we like doing my segment now? God, why can't these girls ever stay on topic? Is it, have you ever had sex in a car? I haven't had sex, sex, but I've done a lot of stuff in a car. Mom, earplugs, my boyfriend in high school who was significantly older than me. But anyway, sex in a car. Full penetrative congress. No. Oh. But we did stuff. We like made out. And that's not sex. That's ah! not sex. Ah! I would want the theater of like in the comedy of like, 
oops, I kicked the gear shift in and me then, in yeah. a, you know, um, Hyundai Sinatra. Nope. Hyundai. Hyundai, Hyundai. Sonata, <laughs> I fly off a cliff. Yeah. I love that if you're like, you kick it into neutral and you don't realize like, it takes like 20 minutes to realize you've been rolling down the main thoroughfare. For the longest time, I thought that cars were on a track. Because the roads were so small, I didn't understand how people didn't hit each other. So I figured, oh, it's gotta be on a track. So like, I figured you couldn't go off the road, even if you wanted to. Cause you're on like a truck. It was kind of like, um, I don't really know, like a train. It's like a car on a track. Like, <laughs> is what you're saying. You can tell a lot about people by their car. Sure. My sister, I get in her car, I'm like standing on trash. <laughs> There's like, like McDonald's and stuff has coated the floor. <laughs> I'm like, this is disgusting. I love that. I love it. Every time you get into someone's car and they're like, don't mind the mess, it's, it's filthy in here. There's like one little, you know, I love wrapper the on the theater ground. of yeah. like, oh, sorry, it's a mess. And it's like, it's pristine. Oh, candy wrapper. Yeah. Um, Meanwhile, I found a Chipotle wrapper in my bed last night. <laughs> last night. In front of my boyfriend. Boyfriend. Yes. If you're gonna get a car, a fancy car, would you want a new fancy car like Tesla or like a vintage sexy car? A vintage sexy car, but it has to work. Like I wanted one of those, um, you know when they have the devil in a movie, he always drives a classic Mercedes? You want Christine? That's what, yeah, that's what I want. You want the car haunted? Sure. Okay. Yeah, I, it can have a life of its own when I'm on in it. We used to go on death rides. You ever been on a death ride? My, so, my brother, before he had a license, we would at three in the morning, we would steal my mom's car. What? We would drive like a bat out of hell around the neighborhood. Like as, you know, 90. What? Yeah, we call it a death ride. And then one night we uh, whacked a mailbox and it tore off the, the rear view mirror or the Did side view mirror. Well, they figured it out the next day. Cause it was just completely- Your mom was like, who took the car out? And you're yeah. like, oh. I was not implicated cause I was a back seat. I was just, I didn't know, I, I didn't know what was going on. Oh my It was God. very vulnerable. <laughs> well, I drive with, that's how I, you know, I see people driving now and I kind of just like, they're driving and I walk by like, ah, excuse me, why are you driving? You could be, you could be doing this. <gasps> I gotta tell you this. I do not drive a car, but I do have an adult go-kart fashion to look like a kid's Barbie Jeep. You surely do. And I don't have a car, and I have a two-car garage with nothing parked in there but a Barbie Jeep. I've seen you on that thing. You really, you really know how to. It's fast, but it's not street legal. So I'll get in it and I'll get a little drunk and put on sunglasses and a hat so no one recognizes me. I've taken it to Wells Fargo. Perfect. I was driving back from God knows where, and I, I actually masturbated in the car while driving. To I was completion? on. Uh, yeah, I was on the highway. It was probably like two or three in the morning, driving home from Worcester. What street was sexy to you? No, no, it's not the street. It's just my internal kind of, you know, just in the mood. I was also bored. And by the way, if you're driving on the road, you should know the rules of the road. Oh, I don't know. I don't know the rules at all. I'm alarmed by that. Yeah, I, I think I'm a bad driver. Cause I just think it's all gonna like work out. Yeah. I don't really check too, too much because I feel like- if Natural I, selection. Yeah, well, I just feel like, I, I don't know, maybe it's like entitlement, but I just feel like it's gonna be okay. You're like, if this is it, this is it, Marty. Yeah. Also, I'm kind of relying on defensive drivers around me. How do you steal a car? Do people still steal cars? Yeah, you have to hotwire it. Is that still a thing? No. Because if you steal a car to hotwire it, you can't really resell it. There's no key to it. No, no, you can't. You take it to the chop shop. Oh, in the chop shop? For parts. Yeah, strip it down. I think we might be taking you there pretty soon. <laughs> These teeth are good. Yeah. <laughs> 40, 50 bucks. <laughs> She's pretty much salvageable, but she needs an entirely new hairline and a personality. <laughs> I f hate driving. I hate it. I don't miss it at all. I hate it. Oh, you know what I also hate? Cat calling from the car. I feel like that's very 90s. The oh, worst. I have been with drag queens where they see like a dad with a baby with his family. Yeah. And they're like, you want me to suck your <laughs> I'm like, 
Yeah, he got married straight out of high school and had kids because he was waiting for your cross-dressing ass to pull up in a minivan yeah. and yell at him. I know some goblin with no eyebrows like, Give me that daddy, mother. It just Give me so that hot thing, pump, dad. Oh. oh, you know what's really important? The oil. <laughs> have it? The, you have to have the oil. You you ever, I know as far as dipping the stick, but I can't read the stick. So I love to dip the stick, wipe it, and go like, hmm. <laughs> like, I don't know what it is. Uh, there, actually, you know what? There's nothing more satisfying than putting the hood up, bending over, looking, you know. Oh, with like bending over the, I like to wait till guys walk by and then have like a little peekaboo when I'm yeah. bending over the hood. Yeah. Maybe Be like, like, can you guys help me? And they're bumps. like, that's not your car. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. If you guys like cars, uh, we have one we're gonna be giving away on the wild present. No, I'm just kidding. 1992 Toyota Tercel. Drive safe. Always use a calf. And don't forget to buckle up. People tell me that they have like transformations when they drive across the country. Oh, I did it. It wasn't very transformative. We spent Christmas in um, Amarillo, Texas, had a waitress named Tammy who had brown teeth. Hi, Mom. <laughs> do you, how much time uh, per day do you spend on your phone? Is it, are you glued not to your lot. phone? Really? No. I'm not that person, I'm not that gay. Yeah, if I wasn't this beautiful, I probably wouldn't use the phone ever. Remember when the Razor came out and we were all like, it's space, it's the future. Yeah. Totally. I had one. I never Stupid had one. Stupid phone. Aww. Really? But you get that really satisfying, like. Oh, the <laughs> drama of ending a call. <laughs> yeah. I like miss the rotary, you know? Because you can sort of like oh, pause and you? reflect. Hello? <laughs> oh, I got you, you see? <laughs> I miss smoke signals. Mm. Did you have T9? T9, bitch. The name Brian. You know this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Asian. Yeah. Asian. It changes it to Asian. Yeah. I, I love wish that. I knew what T9 change Trixie to now. Probably, probably bong, bong. A four letter word? It would change a six letter word to a four letter word? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. 